This is Dexter. He's seven years old. We had him since he was a puppy. Ever since I had him, I took care of him, loved him. He's very obedient, too, very smart. Not too long ago, we found a bump on his neck that seemed peculiar. It got worse. His whole side of his face was swollen, so that really got me concerned. We took him to another vet. They did some blood tests. They told us that they think that he has lymphoma, which is cancer. So I decided to ask Dr. Jeff's advice. And hopefully a remedy, <laughs> a quick, fast remedy. Hi. Hi. I'm Jeff. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Francesca. Edgar. Nice to meet you. So what's going on? It doesn't look too happy. No. A few weeks back, we had noticed he had a real big lump on his throat. Yep. He just okay. recently got diagnosed with cancer. Yeah. Well, let me see where he got. Because um, all his lymph nodes here are huge. His prescaps are huge. That's lymphoid tissue, too. Mm -hmm. um, but it infiltrates it. I mean, it gets into everything. Yeah, I don't think there's any question. With lymphoma, if you have the money for chemotherapy, they buy time. Whether it's three months, a year, I mean, it's variable. And I'm not aware of anything that cures these or dogs yet. There's no good answer here. Um, I mean, I'm really sorry. I had lymphoma. They pretty much told me I had about a close to 80-some percent cure rate, you know, maybe 86%. They, they do a pretty good job of curing humans with lymphoma. I don't think we're there with dogs yet. But sometimes they're looking for animals for protocol. In other words, they have a new drug or experimental thing, and they're looking for animals with these types of cancers to see if they can make them better. Not a guarantee, but it doesn't cost a lot of money. You know, instead of costing $10,000, you may pay $500. 500 bucks for your animal to live for maybe 18 months or maybe only eight months, but, but you can buy them. Yeah, it, it kind of worth it, you know? I definitely want to see what our options are. I mean, I guess what I'd offer you right now is give me some time and let us do some calling around. Yeah. But let me let me see what we can find out, all right? Thank you so much. Thank no problem. You. When you heard that, Dex, we're going to find more options for you. Dexter represents one of the hardest things about my job. You know, uh, we can't cure everything, and Dexter has the same kind of lymphoma that I had. Uh, in the end, if we can get him in a clinical trial, get some chemo in him, we might be able to buy him some quality time. Oncology, this is Coralie. Hi, uh, this is Dr. Young calling from Planned Pet Hood, and I got a dog in that appears to be uh, have lymphoma, and I'm just wondering if you guys have any kind of studies going on. These people don't have a lot of money, but you know, are you doing any trials uh, for lymphoma? My dad will always go the extra mile for a patient like this. He will call around to every specialist in Colorado he can think of um, to see if there's any options. Sure. So do you have a, like an average life expectancy on these kind of protocols? Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, bye-bye. I did get a hold of Colorado State University. They do have a drug trial for Dexter's type of cancer, so he's on a waiting list, and hopefully uh, he'll get in there and uh, get better soon. It doesn't have to stop right here. He is a fighter. He is a fighter. If Dexter doesn't get in the trial in time, there's a medication we can try. It's called prednisone. It shrinks the tumors dramatically, but it will not make it go away. I was on this drug when I had cancer. Just the smell of it makes me want to vomit. It's horrible stuff. Cancer, you know? When you hear that, you think, well, that's not good. I'd rather lose my hair than lose my life. Ultimately, you know, how you approach these things really matters, you know? I feel I'd rather be upbeat. Don't worry about me. I'm doing all right. I'm in remission right now, and you know, I'm what, coming up third year. The idea of taking this stuff again just makes me want to gag. For Dexter, you buy him time. You buy him quality of lifetime, and that's what matters. It's not as much as if you go through the whole chemotherapeutic, you know, drug therapy, uh, but you do buy time.
Hi there. Hi. How can I help you guys? We're here for a recheck. Okay, come on over here. I'll get you guys in a room and I will go find Dr. Jeff. Okay, okay. Thank come you. on, Dex. Let's go. We decided to take Dr. Jeff's advice and uh, see if he is eligible for any clinical trials. And they got him in right away. So right now he is on chemo treatments that will help suppress the cancer. Good boy. He hasn't had any bad side effects. He's been doing awesome. I'm, I'm so blessed because it did help. There you go. Oh, there he Hi. is. Hi. How's it going? Pretty good. How's it so, going? How's Dexter doing? 100% better than what he was. Yes. He looks really good. I remember, wasn't his head really swollen? Yeah, his neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, 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 yeah. classic yes. lymphoma. Did they say what kind? B. B cell. Huh? B cell. Kind of head. I still don't think they're talking about cure with these things. No, he's they're, not going to have a cure. His nose is still dry. And he's got that hyperkeratosis of the nose. That's the concern. Yeah. Honestly, most of this is just due to dry and elevation and solar dermatitis kind of thing. I like putting vitamin E on there. Vitamin E. So vitamin E. But other than that, he looks really good. Listen, thank you very much no, for stopping by. thank you, you know, so really. much, Matt. Thank, thank, thank you. Appreciate thank you. It. Say thank you. Bye. Bye, Dr. Jeff. There's no one answer to an end-of-life case. I mean, the bottom line is, if you can get on a drug trial and it extends your life and there's quality of life, I'm all for it. And in the end, do what's in their best interest. Yeah, I know you're feeling better now, too, huh? Yeah, give me kisses. <laughs> yeah, my bud. Come on, Dex. Let's go. Good boy, Dex. Let's go home. Wait, Dex. Wait. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Shake. Good boy. Kisses. Oh, good boy. I've been spoiling Dexter by just giving him all the love that I can. Cuddling with him and just kissing him and telling him that I, that I love him so much. Sit. You wait right there, okay? You wait. There we go. Yay, Dad. I carry every moment with my dog, my heart. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Oh. Good boy. 